Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk in Aggression versus the Sinister Six. Uh, now we need to remove threat from light at the end of the tunnel, but we're going to try and just beat up the villains to remove the threat. We'll see how that goes. It could be a complete disaster. Uh, but we'll go through our setup. We have our choose X villains at random, where X is one more than the number of players. So we'll get two villains. So here's our villain deck. We have Electro and Craven. Uh, so we put those villains into play, place the active counter on the villain with the lowest activation, which will be Electro, he's got activation order 2. And set the other villains aside, put light at the end uh, side scheme into play, trap side up, which is here. So that's going to come in with 20 threat, because it has hinder 10 and it comes in with 10. Uh, the players cannot win unless they escape. Uh, it has a force interrupt. When the last threat is removed from the scheme, resolve the ambush ability on the main scheme and flip this card. We can escape on the other side. Electro has a scheme of two, attack of one. Uh, force response when he attacks. After Electro attacks and damages you, discard the top seven cards of your deck. Move the active counter to the next villain in the activation order. When defeated, remove four threat from a side scheme. Seven threat instead if there's no other villain in play, and then set this villain aside. Craven's scheme of one, attack of two, and his response after attacking is uh, after he damages you, choosing to discard one support or upgrade your control, uh, and then move the active counter again. Same when defeated. That's actually really good because. We don't intend to really have any upgrades except for maybe counterattack. Uh, so we'll advance to stage 1B on Sinister Synchronization. Skims out at 8. Comes in with 2 threat. Uh, the Ambush Special, we choose a set-aside villain at random, put the villain to play, and place the active counter on it. And there's a Force Interrupt when a villain would activate. If there's no villain in play, we resolve the Ambush ability and then continue the activation. Uh, so everything sorted, let's, uh, let's go to town on, on these uh, Sinister 6. Villains hopefully beat them very quickly. Drop a hand of five cards, Unstoppable Force, Counter Attack, there it is. Limitless Strength, Hulk Smash, Counter Attack. Hmm. All right. All right, here's what we're going to do we're going to flip up, we're going to use Limitless Strength, to Hulk Smash Craven. 13 damage to knock him out. There he goes in here. And because we defeated him, we remove four threat from light at the end. Leave it down to 16. We'll then spend two physical resources to ready Hulk with unstoppable force and draw a card. Just combat training, that's not going to help us. But we'll attack for three. Oh, an Electro. That will be our turn. We'll ready and draw up. Four cards, we have a Quick Strike. Chase him down. Power of Aggression. And a Counter Attack. Okay, we get one threat on the main here. Nope. Knocking everything. Uh, Electro is going to attack us for one. We're going to take it for one. There goes Shadow. Three. So he hits us for three. And after he attacks, we discard top seven cards of our deck. So one, two, three, six, seven. No, oh, there goes another limitless uh, strength. Get our encounter card. And we would move the activation counter if there was another villain, but there isn't, so it's just going to stay on him. Life-size decoy. Scheme is zero, attack is zero, expert mode. This game's tough, but we're just doing standard. Engaged player cannot thwart side schemes. That's fine, we don't thwart anyway. We just remove through defeating. Um, what do we do here? What's he got? He's got eight. So, use a power of aggression to quick strike. Deal damage to an enemy equal to your attack for another three on Electro. We'll then just attack for three. He's not doesn't have guard or anything, so that's fine. So attack for three, knocking out Electro. And he's uh, the last villain, so we move seven threat from a side scheme. So there's five, six. What we're also going to do going to play a chase him down after you hear attacks and defeat. Oh, no, except we can't because although it's two threat from a scheme. 
We can't thwart sizing, but you know, we can thwart the main. So we'll just do is chase them down. We'll just take two off the main. And we'll throw away counterattacks. We can't use it. We're ready. Draw four cards. We have a Hulk smash. The movable object. Chase them down. And suborbital leap. That life size decoy is giving us more trouble than I thought it would. Um, okay, so we get one thread on here. And especially sure if there's villain activate, if there's no villain play, resolve the ambush ability and then continue the activation. So get a villain here. It's going to be Dr. Octopus, the one I do not want. So after Dr. Octopus activates, uh, sorry, attacks and damages you, place one throughout on each sick game, uh, move the active card to the next villain. So yeah, it's fine. He's just going to have to, all right. So he's going to attack us for two plus nothing. Go away, advance for two and then he places one threat on each scheme so that's terrible which is that to 10 that goes to three this guy does nothing we get our encounter card touch the villain with the highest activation order so it's going to be doc ock because he's the only one he's getting plus x attack where x is the number of villains in play so at the moment this giving him nothing um we just have to Hulk smash, don't we? We don't want Doc Ock out on the board. So bypass him, we're spending three resources to Hulk smash, knocking Doc Ock out. We're just gonna take four off here. Sorry, it's gonna take seven off, isn't it? Let me recalculate that. Four, five, six, seven, so Got three left. Uh, we're ready. Drop a hand, have a drop kick, crushing blow, banner's lab, and clobber. Okay, we got a thread on here. Uh, we're going to get a villain again. Please don't be Doc Ock. It's Hobgoblin. He's also not great though. Uh, so he's going to attack us for one plus one is two. And after Hobgoblin attacks and damage, you take two indirect damage. So we'll take another two damage. He attacks us for nothing. Get our encounter card. Scout upgrade to support your control. Caught off guard. Oh, wait. If uh, no cards are scattered away, gain surge. The villain with the highest activation order attacks you. Okay, where plus x attack equal to the total number of villains play. So he's still just attacking us for one. One. Plus nothing. One, but we take two indirect damage. Hobgoblin, not great. All right, we're going to spend two resources to clobber, which is our first card we played, so it's going to go back to our hand. Uh, for three damage on Hobgoblin. We'll then spend one for a crushing blow on him to do another three damage, and then Hulk will attack for another three to knock him out. Just going to remove the last threat on here. Pushing us into the light at the end. We've now got Hazard Icon in play. Put that there to remind me, hopefully. This comes in with. 10 for Hinder and 5, so 15. So players can't win unless they escape. When the last threat is removed from this scheme, the players escape and win the game. Um, I'm going to flip down. I'm ready. Draw 5 cards. We have Looking for Trouble. Drop Kick. Drop Kick. Thunderclap and strength. Okay, we get one threat on here. We're at five out of eight. We get a villain. The scorpion. The scorpion. Vulture. 
Okay, so Vulture's just going to scheme for one plus nothing. It's the six. We don't do his activation thing. Uh, we definitely want to get rid of him. We get two encounter cards. Uh, so attach the villain with the most remaining hit points. Which will be Vulture. Threat cannot be removed from light the end. So we need to knock out Vulture to get rid of it. Oh, sorry. When I did that, I should have put another villain in. Which would have been Vulture anyway. Yeah, so I wouldn't have resolved the special. Yep. Never mind. Vulture, should have put him in when that happened. Um, so we've got that. And, oh. Okay, we've got another decoy. Okay, so Vulture's only got seven health. That's good. But we need to recover. We will experimental research to draw a card, discard a card. It's not looking for trouble. Don't need those right now. Flip up. So much we're going to be do here. We'll spend three resources for a drop kick. Uh, deal four damage to an enemy if you pay for the same physical, which we did. Stun the enemy and draw one card. So. Stun, four damage, draw a card. Ha! Huh. All right. We will do it again. We will spend power of aggression and look for trouble for another drop kick. Four more damage to Vulture, which is going to knock him out. Going to move seven threat from here. Yep. And we throw away this drop kick because we're Hulk and we throw away our hand. Already up. Draw four cards. We have suborbital leap, boundless rage, skilled strike, and clobber. <laughs> These guys, my suborbital leap would really help right about now. Um, great. We get. Another threat on here, we're at seven out of eight. We get a villain. Electro. It's fine, Electro's fine. He's going to attack us for one plus, one is two. We discard seven cards. One, two, three. Four, which is done. Deck out, we get an encounter card. Then we'll get our two encounter cards. These guys attack us for nothing. I forgot to take my damage. All right. Place one threat on each, on the main scheme for each enemy in play. Well, that's going to be enough to push this. Okay, reveal, choose a set aside villain at random, put that villain to play and place the active counter on it. Uh, and if this is expert, deal the first player in case I can't card, it's not so. Pop goblins back. This activation order three as opposed to electric two, he gets the active counter. Up to this. You have three threat and that'll throw it out at seven, so that's not great. Attached to the villain with the lowest activation order. That'll be Electro. So we've got Christ Psych on the play. That's fine. Uh, put aside Electro and Craven uh, into play. If Electro is already in play, discard the highest card cost control. Well, I don't have any cards under control. If Craven is already in play, discard the lowest cost. Where's Craven? All right. They're not messing around now. Okay.
All right. All right, so I can attack for five, plus a clobber. I can do eight, so I can knock out one of them. The only thing is I want to knock out Hobgoblin. He's got nine. I don't think there's any way I can do that. All right, so we'll spend two, two resources to clobber for three. Then this comes back to our hand, not that's gonna matter, on Electro. We'll then attack Electro with a skilled strike for five to knock him out. Taking four threat off here. Throw away our clobber. Why am I on 18? Am I really on 18? I can't be on 18. Sorry, 16. What happened to my health? Did I get to take health? Should I be on 6? No, it should be. I think I'm on 6. I think I stuffed up. I think I went to 10 and somehow dropped to 18. Anyway, I think I'm on 6. I'm all ready. We'll draw four cards. Crushing blow. Skilled Strike, Unstoppable Force, and Power Regression. Okay, we get one threat on here. Hobgoblin is going to attack us. We need to win, so yep, yeah, okay. We'll take it, so one. So take three. He does two indirect damage to us. Activation counter moves. These guys attack us for nothing. Get our two encounter cards. Villain schemes. So Craven's going to scheme for one plus nothing. So five out of seven. And the villain with the highest activation order attacks you with plus X, where X is equal to the attack of all other villains in play. All right, well. We have to defend against this. Craven's attacking us for three plus four. And there's a boost effect here. That's not enough. That's going to defeat us. I think if I had my, my health wrong or correct, I'll go back and check on that. But yeah, it's annoying because we could have won, could have won this actually if I just didn't get that horrible draw because we had a crushing blow, which we could have done. Oh, maybe we couldn't have actually. No, hold on. If we had a crushing blow, we could have done three damage. We could have attacked for another five. Or we could have, in fact, we could have, in fact, yeah, we could have done a skill strike for five. And we could have spent two of us as the ready Hulk. Then to attack another three, we could have drawn a card that might have helped us. Clobber, who knows? Got close there, but yep, unfortunately, just didn't quite work out. Even if um, we'd done like more of a, a seven threat removal and stuff like that, it could have gone better, but oh well. Uh, unfortunately, Hulk, not strongest one there is, but I think it, it could have been done. It could have been done. If I just got the right the right combination, it would have got there. Um, but yeah, otherwise, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time.